Hello, in this video I will show you uh, how to use resource balancer. It's a new feature in Ultimate Tribal Bars Bot since uh, 1.068 version. Uh, at first, I will tell you about uh, basic information according to that feature. Uh, as you can see here, is an uh, interval like any other functions and basic properties. Uh, this one resources, those resources are called send resources above. It means that uh, above that number of resources uh, this city will be able to send to a target city, to another city resources. Uh, this one values, uh, those values uh, are called get resources under which means if in city will be a lack of resources uh, below your this value it means that this city needs uh, supply of those resources and uh, it will be those resources will be sent from uh, target uh, from a uh, origin uh, city to a uh, target city Incoming resources, uh, these values are currently gathered by uh, statistics which resource balancer acquire uh, during its work and these are current resources. Um, here you have information about merchants. Currently there is z uh, there are zeros because uh, I didn't update it mm, and this is very important range it's very important I will tell you more for a second about it uh, for a while mm, but for now uh, I will just update uh, city statistics uh, they are doing that in here because I, I, I want to have updated uh, merchants information and uh, other information like resources currently that are in the uh, city. Uh, about more options, you can disable one or more uh, function for cities if you want. Uh, you can navigate and copy configuration template city from this selected city, uh, like any other functions in this board. Uh, okay, update cities has finished. And we said here yes, uh, and now there. This is a function show prediction. There is no nothing to send right now because this is not configured. And now how to configure it? Uh, this city has uh, the most uh, resources, so I will put here send uh, simply send resources if there is more than. 100 key. Okay, now you can see this city can send resources because current resources are 120k and here we have 100k. Uh, but now there is still nothing to send. That what we need to set in here is range. Range uh, is uh, information which tells bot uh, within uh, which range to send to other cities resources. As you can see, when I uh, increase the range, new cities are appearing. These cities are only from those lists, from my cities. For me, it's a uh, 10 range for now. Uh, it covers all my cities which currently I have. And that is okay. Uh, and now show predictions still nothing. Why? Because uh, no cities need. Uh, there is no cities which need uh, resources. And let's say that this city needs to be need to have uh, 12k resources, as you can see. And now show predictions show me like this and current resources are 8 key uh, plus uh, 8000 plus 3000 it gives me 11000 
it always uh, rounded down to a thousand units. Uh, the same is for uh, uh, clay and, and iron and wood, as you can see here. Uh, but now I, I can set also, let's say for that city, and this city needs uh, only iron, like in here, and show predictions will show me this one, there is a uh, merchants and use merchants. Uh, this uh, window is only for your information. Uh, you can check if you configure uh, the bot in the correct way. Uh, what's important, uh, like you can see here, there is a 22,000 capacity, storage capacity, and if you put in here, for test purposes, I put here uh, like 30,000, and now I will show predictions, it will, bot will send only 12,000, why? Because 12,000 plus 9,000 currently, which is in that city, it gives me 21,000. 21,000 is uh, below the storage capacity. I wanted here 30,000, but it's above what storage capacity can handle. So the bot is uh, smart enough and will not send uh, too much resources. Um, but to show you how it actually works, let me put it in here. Uh, okay, and show predictions. Okay, and what? Uh, and I will just, uh, if you want to configure that the city will send two, you can just put uh, send resource above, uh, lower those values, and it will be sending uh, uh, as well. Uh, the city cannot send to its own city. But for now, I will uh, enable this, this function and I will show you how it works. And as you can see here, uh, the fifth step is updating merchants and resources statistics for resource balancer. Uh, then the second step, which resource balancer performs, is sending, uh, uh, sending resources. And if sending resources uh, happen, uh, the next step is that the uh, resource balancer updating statistics again. Uh, why it's uh, updating uh, statistics? I will show you for a second. When job is done, when job will be done. Okay, and the resource balancer finishes work. And now you can see that there are incoming resources. And now show predictions show nothing. Why? Because uh, there is uh, get resources under. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, 1000 and 10,000 gives us 11,000. And uh, for that city, 12,000 is a minimum which that city should have. And that's why bot will not send. Uh, any more uh, resources, but if you make higher value, it will send 1000 currently. And let's say that uh, um, recruit army happens in that city, and the current resources uh, again will be lowered. Uh, so, bot will just uh, check every time, every interval, if uh, it needs to send resources to that city. As you can see, there is a merchants, uh, it's only 16 merchants right now, or 3, uh, but when they will return, it will be, but we'll use them again if there will be something to, to send or get. And actually, that's it, just uh, use the show prediction function while you configure this bot. And uh, for a new villages, I usually configure it like uh, I said 15k, 15 to 20. Uh, K for each village, and this is my end village. I actually have it maxed, so every above 100 is sent to uh, to to already to new taken villages, which are these ones. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you soon.